Hi guys, we're still here in Barbados and who do I have with me today? Jamal. Say hello Jamal. Hello guys. <laughs> so Jamal will be taking us around the island. Um, Jamal, tell us a bit about yourself. Well, um, I've been a tour operator for about seven years. Um, born in Barbados and live here all my life. So I know uh, most of it. And uh, we'll take you mostly on the east coast today and the northern coast. Right, so, so this is the uh, Crane Hotel, it's on the southeastern side of Barbados. Um, obviously the beach has been named after it, but you can see here this seaweed is affecting the eastern coast. Now the eastern coast, this is the Atlantic Ocean. So you can see that it's um, a bit rugged, a bit more rougher, you know, for the, more for like surfing. You don't really swim here, you don't really dive here. Um, how we got the seaweed? Whenever there's an underground earthquake, it lifts the seaweed off the seabed and unfortunately it comes to our beautiful island. You can see in the distance, the guy with a tractor, he's pushing it back in or around before they take it up. So here, yeah, Crane Beach, one of the popular beaches in Barbados, but as you can see, at the moment, quiet because of the uh, seaweed. Okay, so we've just left um, Crane Beach and we're off to a lighthouse. But I'm just going to show you, you know me and I need to hurt myself. So while walking those, down those beautiful steps, we're going down at Crane Beach. I slipped because I did not have the right footwear on. And I got a few cuts. Oh, I'm going to show you. I can see it. There you go. One here, one there. And another one on the other leg. What has that taught me? To have the right footwear on when touring the island. So what I'm going to do now is we're coming up to the lighthouse and I'm just going to show you So this is a lighthouse It's been around for a number of years
So this is um, Hackleston Cliff. And apparently, there's actually a sad story to this. And of course, Jamal's just walked off and he's not telling me the story. He's trying to tell me way back. Come on, Jamal, tell us a story about Hackleston's Cliff. All right, let's go. Let me show you. Oh, it's going to show us the story. Okay, so guys, uh, hi. Uh, we're here at the Hackleton's Cliff. Um, if you look here, uh, this is actually a burial ground for uh, some of for these families, really. Uh, the Hackleton family, the Forrester family, the Cox and the McLean family. Um, Thomas Hackleton, him and his wife, he came from America in the 17th century and they live on the Malvern Plantation. Um, Mr. Hackleton, he used to work a lot um, filming different business um, ventures, rather, I should say. So, he got into a bad venture and him and his wife would argue a lot concerning his ventures and... Um, what do you mean by ventures? The business ventures he would oh, do. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what he did, uh, one time they were having an argument and he got on his horse and he rode off and he just rode off the cliff. It was an accident. It was not a suicide. He didn't know at the time here was just all trees and bush. So he didn't know where he was riding. So are you telling me that he got on his horse and he just started riding, but he yeah. didn't know this was a cliff? Right, he didn't know. How you know he didn't know? He didn't know. He didn't know. Yeah, he was strong enough. So this is my version of the story, okay? Yeah. They had an argument. He was vexed. He got drunk and he rode, thinking he was a bad man, and he went off the cliff. How about that? I like my version better. It sells. <laughs> it sells. <laughs> but it's not the truth. Okay, so we're here at Bathsheba. And we've found this lady, her name is Evangeline, yeah, and problem. she has made all of these. Yeah, nice piece, yeah. So we're just going to take a look. So if you're down by Bathsheba at any time, guys, please come along, yeah. check out Evangeline's handiwork. And we're going to try and get you something, yeah? I've also seen in the National Geographic 2005, the Cherry Tree Hill. I never knew when that was taken, but it was given the book, never got anything, but this is what they do best. This like, is what she does best. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to support the local yeah, community yeah. and buy something yeah, from yeah. So guys, this is what I would like to do. If you can see that rock behind me, it's not big, but what I would like to do is do some bouldering. Now my tour guide, Jamal, down there, he's saying no. What do we say to no? People say no, we say yes, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay. We're gonna now try and climb that rock, which Jamal said no, but we're saying yes. So let's go, Jamal. I'm just gonna turn the camera around. For someone who don't wanna do this, he's going awfully fast. Very steep. See, I've hurt myself already once for the day, so I'm taking my time. I don't need no more scratches or gouges on my poor legs. So that's the rock we're trying to get to over there. Jamal said I didn't need my trainers, but where there's a rock, I'm going to try and climb. So if I just twirl, guys. Can you see that? Isn't it not beautiful? No, Jamal, you're going the wrong way. We're gonna get on this one up here. Yeah, the big one. This is the one I wanna try and go up. Okay. So we've made it up one of the smaller ones. I wanted that one to be my destination, but, um, Jamal said we can't get over there. So what we're gonna go and do is go down into the pools, the rock pools down there. Yeah? 
Jamal's really into this now, boy. Come, let's go, let's go, he's saying.